Hi, we are going to solve problem 3.5 from Alexander and Sadiku circuit. So, the problem stated that obtain V0 in the circuit of figure 3.54. This is the figure. Okay, first step, let me determine the nodes. I take this node and I name it as node A. And I take the bottom, most bottom node as our ground where the voltage here is equal to zero so I also name this node as node B and I also name this node as node C and I will name this current here as IB and a current here as IC and this current here as I0 because this is V0 so I just name it I0 okay now we have all nodes and all currents uh, we start at KCL in node A KCL in node A in KCL, we know that all the current that goes in is equal to all currents that goes out. There is no current that goes in, all going out. So, we have IB plus IC plus I0 is equal to 0. Okay, now we are going to find IB, IC, and I0. The easiest one is I0. We know that VA here, VA is equal to I0 times 4 according to, according to Ohm's law. Times 4. So VA here is equal to 4 I0 or we can write it I0 is VA divided by 4 so I0 here is VA divided by 4 is equal to 0 ok now look at this part this part here VAC VAC is equal to 24 and VAC we can write it as VA minus VC is equal to 20 I think we need to divide this part so VA minus this VC is equal to IC times 5 according to Ohm's law okay we have IC times 5 is equal to 20 20 and now we can rewrite this as VA minus 20 is equal to 5 IC or IC is equal to VA minus 20 divided by 5 okay we would have this VA minus 20 divided by 5 this is VA my ugly handwriting and now the last one we would need to find IB IB using the same logic as this part we would have this part VAB is equal to 30 VA minus VB is equal to 30 and VA is 
equal to IB times 2 or 2IB. Two 2IB two is equal to 30. Let me scroll down this so we have some space. Okay, now we have this and we can rewrite this as VA minus 30 is equal to IB. And then IB is equal to VA minus 30 divided by So we would have IB here, VA, let me erase this so we have a more room. VA minus 30 divided by 2. So there we are, we can solve this for VA. Now this is a simple arithmetic, we need to uh, make the denominator equal. So we can just do it in, we can make the denominator 20 I think, 20, so we can have 10 VA minus 300 plus this one is 20 and this one is 4 VA minus 80 and the last one we would have this one is also 20 5 a 5 a is equal to 0 we could just multiply both sides by 20 so we have 10 a minus 300 plus 4 VA minus 80 plus 5 VA is equal to 0. Okay, now we have 10 plus 4 plus 5, it is 19. 19 VA is minus. 380 is equal to 0. 19 VA is equal to 380. So VA is equal to 24. Now remember that V0, V0 or V0 is equal to VA. So VA is equal to V0 is equal to 20 volt. So this is our final answer. I hope this helps and thanks for watching.